The necklace. Once upon a time, there was a huge tree on the outskirts of a small village. The tree was home to a pair of crows. One day, a snake came to live in the hole at the bottom of the tree. The crows were not happy at the arrival of the snake. But they could do nothing. After a few days, the female crow laid some eggs. When the crows went out in search of food, the snake crawled up the tree and ate up the eggs. When the crows came back, they could not locate the eggs. The crow couple were deeply grieved at their loss. After a few months, the female crow laid some more eggs. This time, they were afraid to leave the nest. So they stayed there as long as they could. Eventually, they needed to leave to look for food. Once again, the snake climbed to the tree and ate the eggs. The crows were very upset. They soon realized it would be the work of the snake. But they didn't know what to do. To punish it. They considered of asking their friend a wise fox for help. With this thought, both of them went to the place of the wise fox. The fox welcomed her friends and said, Both of you seem to be very sad. What happened? The crows replied, We are in a big problem. A snake is after us and he eats up our eggs. We seek your help in this matter. They narrated the whole story to the fox. The fox was intelligent. She thought for a few minutes and then laid out a brilliant plan before them. She said, Listen carefully and do it as per the plan. In the morning, go to the river bank where the ladies of the royal family would be bathing. They keep their ornaments in a tree on the river bank. The guards keep a watch on them from a distance. The fox then told them the rest of the plan. So, the next morning, the crows were ready with their plan. The crow couple flew to the river bank. The female crow picked up a necklace and flew off, while the male crow shrieked loudly to attract the guard's attention.
the guards ran after the crows soon they reached the tree where they saw the crows dropping the necklace into the snake hole as the guards were trying to take the necklace out with the help of a stick the snake came out of the hole the snake hissed at them and afraid of him they killed the snake by sticks they took the necklace and returned to their place the crows were happy to see the sight from a distance they thanked the fox for her help thereafter the crow couple lived happily with their young ones in the banyan tree moral intelligence is greater than strength the wise cock and the wicked fox once upon a time there lived a wicked fox in a jungle one day it came out of the forest in search of food and entered a village there lived a wise cock in that village it was taking rest on a tree top the wicked fox passed that way the fox looked up and saw the handsome cock sitting on the branch of the tree the fox decided to eat the cock so he said in as sweet a voice as possible Hello dear cock I have brought a good news from the heaven A new order is passed for all of us From now on all the birds and animals will become friends and live together in peace The cock was surprised He asked Is it true? The fox replied, "Yes, of course. If you would like to test it, why not come down?" But the cock suspected him. He started to think wisely. He said, "Won't you wait a minute? A few of our friends are coming along." It was the fox's turn to be surprised. Friends, who are coming? What do you mean? The cock answered. Well, I can see some hounds coming. Let us wait for them. On hearing the word hounds, the fox got annoyed. He started to run away. The cock asked, "Why are you running? What happened to our friendship?" The only reply was, "Forget it." Moral: Wise men can unveil wickedness.